If you're able, please stand for the procession of the light. seated. Welcome to the Ortonville United Methodist Church on this second day of summer. Uh, for those of us who did Creek Fest and the fireworks, the first day was exhausting. Uh, please sign the uh, red registration uh, books in the pews. If you need a hearing assistance device, please ask the ushers. Although, if you need one, you may not be hearing me anyway. <laughs> we also have children's activity bags at the front entrance of the church if you need one of those. Took care of something, didn't I? And the nursery is available. The nursery is to my left rear if you need that. Um, we'll now have the introit.
Do we have any announcements? <coughs> One here with Tammy. Right over there. Uh, Glenn is Jan here. Um, I was going to ask the congregation if you'd please try and help us out by um, asking the, or telling the ushers if you see someone here that's visiting or a newcomer. We just want to make sure that everybody who comes that we give them a, um, a welcome package. Also, I would like to thank you very much while I'm standing. I know this isn't the time, but thank you so much for all the cards and prayers that everybody has sent my way. I know it really helped me through the hard time of having cancer and everything's going well. Thank you. Can you turn up number 10 in the monitor? Please, thank you. Um, I just wanted to say um, that I talked to Marilyn Featherston yesterday and they got home on Friday night. Go ahead. They got home on Friday night <clears throat> and um, <clears throat> the surgery went well. It was not as invasive as what the doctors had predicted. Whew, thank yes, goodness. Yes. So um, she said it would, would just be a time of recovery now. So. She wanted everybody to know, and I have a card I'm going to send around. I don't have a clipboard, but is there an extra one up there? Extra clipboard up there? <laughs> anyway, I have a... I don't um, see one. Okay, I have a card. I'm Well, I'll, I'll put the card downstairs, I guess. And if you'd sign it, and then we'll send it to Marv. It's a thinking of you card. Thank you. Hi, Tammy Fossey. Um, we had the Village Kids Breakfast Club uh, bake sale yesterday. It wasn't as successful as I hoped. We, um, we made $14, but that's seven boxes of cereal or three gall four gallons of milk in a box of cereal. So, I mean, if we look at it that way, that's great. But the rest of the baked goods are downstairs. So after service, if anybody would like to purchase those to help out, that would be great. Well, I would like to thank the folks who came out to uh, help the CERT team with their fundraiser this past Thursday night out at Bullfrogs. Uh, we don't know exactly what we made yet, but I do know we made $125 just on straight donations. So that'll help us buy a, a few medical supplies. And I imagine uh, from the dinner, the results will be much higher than that. <clears throat> do we have any others? Okay. Please stand for our call to worship. <coughs> o Creator and Mighty God, you have promised strength for the weak, rest for the laborers, light for the way, grace for the trials, help from above, unfailing sympathy, and undying love. O oh, Creator and Mighty God, help us to continue in your promise. O oh, Wisdom on high, by, your, by you the meek are guided in judgment, and the light rises up in darkness for the godly. Grant us in all doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what you would have us do, that we may be saved from false choices and that your light, we may see the light in your straight path and may not stumble. Please remain standing for our opening hymn, uh, page 140, Great is Thy Faithfulness.
Please be seated. Let us recite our unison prayer. O oh God, that we may receive your blessing, touch our brows and touch our heads. When we are afraid, offer us courage. And when we are ashamed, be our true face. Almighty God, grant us sincerity that we may persistently seek the things that endure, refusing those which perish, and that, amid things vanishing and deceptive, we may see the truth steadily, follow the light faithfully, and grow ever richer in that love which is the life of all people. Through Jesus Christ our Savior, amen. We will now have special music by the choir, this little light of mine. was awesome. I'm working at a disadvantage this morning. I couldn't find my glasses, so I've got my reading glasses and my eyeballs. So if you look a little fuzzy, it's because I am a little fuzzy, so bear with me, please. And next is the offering. If I could have the ushers come forward, please. And please remember donations for the Village Kids Breakfast Club in the milk carton and for the nursery expansion in the cradle, please.
print it in your bulletin. Now, dear God, no. Almighty God, giver of every good and perfect gift, teach us to surrender to you all that we have and all that we are, that we may praise you, not with our lips only, but with our whole lives, turning the duties, the sorrows, and the joys of all our days to a living sacrifice to you. Through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Now the next song is to bring us into prayer. Uh, understand that there's a little bit of misprint in here, so follow along with the choir. We've sung it before, so follow the choir. was excellent. Thank you. All right. Now this is a difficult time for me because I normally can see up and down. So this is the time for prayers of the faith community, joys and concerns. Who has some joys this week? In the back. Let's start in the back. Linda Carl Hayes and I have a big joy that my daughter and granddaughter made it to California without any major problems. Wonderful. Except for the snow in the mountains and the tornadoes in Nebraska. But <laughs> God was good. He protected them. He kept them safe. And my prayer concern is my grandson Zachary leaves today for Italy. And from there he will be deployed to Afghanistan, Ukraine, or Iraq. Okay. Good morning, Norma here, and I have two joys. The first one is a birthday for Liz Geisbert. She had a birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, Liz. Uh, you ask her. <laughs> you ask her, Carl. And the second is Louise is back from camp, and she hasn't stopped talking. <laughs> Two helps of food for breakfast uh, at church yesterday. I, bet I went to the street first. I had coffee and, uh, and uh, a donut hole. And I, I spent two dollars at the yesterday at the creek store, mm -hmm. and uh, we had pancakes for breakfast. Wow, the were they good? Back, the sister got back on vacation. Day. She still didn't know what killed my brother Victor. So said my whole she. I was talking to my sister on the phone lately. Went to the library, books at the library. I'd be on the fifth and get by shrine books at the library on the fifth. I'm yeah. sorry to hear about your brother Victor. We will definitely pray for him. Thank you, Bob. Is there anyone else? That's the shortest joys and concerns we've ever had. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Please bow your heads. Fellow Christians, open your hearts in an attitude of prayer. For those who have a silent concern or prayer, please raise them now up to our Father in heaven. 
He is listening and waiting on you. Almighty God, in a world of change, you placed eternity in our hearts and gave us the power to discern good from evil. Grant us sincerity and serenity that we may persistently seek the things that endure, refusing those which perish and that amid things vanishing and deceptive, we may seek the truth steadily, follow the light faithfully, and grow ever richer in that love which is the life of all people. Please surround Marv Featherston as he recovers from surgery. Harold and Judy Blanchford as they walk down the long dark path of certain death. And Lauren, whose scan came back this week um, and praying for good news. Um, with your love, angels of mercy, and caring touch, so that they may know healing, let them know that you are always there for them and are listening to them in their hour of need. For all those who are ministering to, to, uh, to their special needs, in their hour of need, for those who are ministering to their special needs, guide their hands steadily and true. Be with those who mourn, especially Bob, as he mourns over his brother Victor. Grant him the assurance of your presence now and forever. We ask your special blessing on Linda as she worries about her son Zachary going off to com combat. We know that you are the only one that can provide the loving and caring that she seeks. We especially ask you to keep safe and close to your heart, all those who serve and protect us in our police department, our fire departments, and our armed forces, and especially those who serve in harm's way. Please, um, joy and, con and happiness with us as we celebrate Liz's, birth Liz's birthday, and we're so happy that Louise had such a good time at camp. We ask this all in Jesus' name, who taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against you. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now's the time to pass the peace, but I do it differently than most people do. I go out in the congregation and I say, the peace of the Lord be with you, and you respond, and also with you. So we're going to break for about, oh, three or four minutes, and Aaron will call us back with a little song. So, may the peace of the Lord be with you.
It's time for Children's Church, and Miss Blakely will take all of our wonderful children. Next is the song of preparation at Spirit of the Living God. And you can be seated for this because you're all tired from your greeting. You're not ready? I'm getting there. Okay. Hey. All right. This is a short one. will do all the scripture readings. I didn't lose my glasses this morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our Old Testament reading comes from Deuteronomy chapter 31 verses 6 and 8. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. In Psalms, chapter 40, verses 1 through 3. I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and mire. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. He put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. From the New Testament, we have Philippians. Uh, chapter 4, verse 11b through 13. I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I can do everything through him who gives me strength. The gospel lesson comes from the gospel of John, chapter 17, verses 7 through 10. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. For I gave them the word you gave me, and they accepted them. They knew with certainty that I came from you. And they believe that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine. And glory has come to me through them. Let's end with the readings. This is going to be the shortest sermon on record. Where's my... Your what? Serenity.
candy corn. Right it? here beside you. Okay. <laughs> you want me to hold it? No, no, we can't. No, I guess you didn't have to hold it. Well, I'll just start out with this a little. Here, I'll be a training Oh, that's a good thing for you. <laughs> Please pray with me for a moment. May the words of my mouth and the meditations in my heart be acceptable in thy holy sight. Amen. Good morning. This morning, I'm going to talk a little bit about the first paragraph of the Serenity Prayer and why its simplicity is so profound and helpful to so many people and is so often used all around the world. My late parents gave me an embroidered, counter counted cross stitch and mom made it. Dad framed it. It is one of my most cherished possessions not only for who made it, but for what it says. It has become my motto. It says, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Now let's take it apart and look at each phrase and see why each phrase and word is so helpful in all kinds of circumstances. God, it starts out with calling upon our Father, maker of us all, and it is bold, it's clear, it's direct, it's talking to the man in charge, God himself. Grant me, or help me out. I need to know, or endow me. Grant me the serenity, the peace, the calmness, the tranquility, the serenity. To accept, or acknowledge, or recognize. I need your help to accept the things or circumstances or concepts or happenings, the things. I cannot change. What is change? It's a reversing, an inverting of what is, or a modifying or something different that is happening. I cannot change. Courage to change, to be brave about the change, to be bold as to be undaunted by the change. Courage to change, the things I can. Yes, I can make a difference in my community of those things that I can be helping out in. For example, Vacation Bible School, Village Kids Breakfast Club, A3 Hunger, CERT, Community Christmas Toy Store and OSEF. These are a few things that you can help be a good change agent. You can be a good change agent in many organizations. Always be an agent of positive change. The things I can. Here's where the conundrum comes in. And wisdom to know the difference. How do you define or get your arms around the concept of wisdom and the difference? Is it something that comes with age? Can a young person be wise? I believe that both can happen. Wisdom can come with life experiences and common sense. The use of good judgment, clear thinking, intelligence, education, formal and informal education, sageness, if that's a word, moral grounding of knowing right from wrong, and the real talent is knowing the difference and the discernment of the circumstances you find yourself in and acting on them. 
the wisdom to know the difference. So how do we tie all of this to the Bible? It is a prayer of the 20th century written by Reinhold Niebuhr in the 1940s. However, all of the concepts discussed in the prayer are found throughout the Bible, both the Old and the New Testaments. The request for serenity from God is a common three theme in the scriptures and found in John 14, verse 27 in the NIV version. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give it to you as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled, and do not be afraid. Jesus gives you peace or serenity. Jesus is the answer. When St. Paul wrote to the church at Philippi, he implies that the peace of God comes when we have given our anxious thoughts to God in prayer. St. Paul wrote in Philippians 4, verses 6 through 7, Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again. Rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything be in prayer and in petition. With thanksgiving, present your requests to God and the peace of God which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Jesus Christ. Again, Jesus is the answer. In a letter, St. James writes about wisdom in James 1, verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to him. He continues in James 3, verse 17. But the wisdom that is from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. Jesus is always the answer. The next time you are having a difficult time or day, or things aren't quite going your way, or you need courage to make a difficult decision, think about and pray the prayer of serenity. It is short and sweet and to the point. I have found it to be a lifesaver and words to live by. Amen. I told you, short and sweet. You'll find it in your bulletin that I had specially printed on parchment paper so that you can take it home and frame it. Thank you for listening and being such a good congregation this morning and not throwing fruit at me. <laughs> um, the closing hymn is God Will Take Care of You. Please rise and sing. It's on page 130.
God, from the abundance of your mercy and love, enrich your servants and safeguard them till we meet again. Strengthened by your blessing, may they always be thank thankful to you and bless you with unending joy. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Go in peace now and serve the risen Lord. Amen. Amen. Um, don't forget, there's a really good fellowship hall meeting afterwards. Lots of food and beverages. And let's sing Shalom. Are we singing the prayer? Oh, yeah. Don't forget the serenity prayer. I'm so excited. God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Amen.